guys, it's Emma here. So today I'm going to be doing a video on does it get cold on a narrowboat in winter because that's one of the most common questions boaters get. Um, so I'm going to be asking, um, answering that today. So let's go. So is it cold on a narrowboat? It's kind of sometimes yes and it's also sometimes kind of no. Um, it kind of depends what kind of heating you have. Um, you, there are three heaters you can kind of have. You can have a multi-fuel stove, which we have. Um, you can have a um, central heating like radiators um, that either run off gas or diesel. And then you can have a diesel stove, like a multi-fuel stove, but just instead of like coal and wood, it runs off diesel. So we do have gas heaters on the on board, but we don't really use them because it goes through our gas very quickly. So we don't tend to use those and we only use our multi-fuel stove. And we definitely really like our multi-fuel stove. Um, when we first moved onto the boat, we weren't the best at lighting fires. Um, it kept going out or it just wasn't the best. So after a few YouTube videos we finally figured out how to use our fire and um it's sometimes it's not like uh, it's a bit annoying because like when you live in a house and you have like central heating where you can like turn the temperature up to a certain like temperature and then if you don't like you can just turn it back down um that's fine but with a fire it's kind of like you either have it incredibly hot or a bit chilly and we mostly sometimes have it incredibly hot and we're like literally like boiling in bed um so it is like a bit of a one-to-one -one ratio wheel stove but it is definitely a really nice way of heating up your boat especially if um your stove is next to your bedroom so when we were looking for a boat we wanted um a boat that had uh, the bathroom the sitting room and the bedroom um like all together where the multi-fuel stove was um because we didn't want one of the boats that had like the sitting room and the kitchen was really really warm and then your bedroom was and your bedroom and your toilet and stuff was really really cold um, so we wanted a bedroom that was really nice and warm so that's why we went to go and find a boat we fell in love with pendle because um the fire is right next to where the bathroom the sitting room and the bedroom is and it's just really nice um the kitchen may the kitchen and the diner area may be absolutely freezing um but in winter we kind of abandon that area and sit in here and in summer we abandon this area because it gets crazy hot and go in that in the kitchen uh, so that's why we really wanted a boat that had like a fire next to the bedroom so we could stay toasty warm. So what we use to burn in our multi-fuel stove, um, we burn coal and kindling. Um, when you, To start the fire you kind of want to add kindling and then a bit of coal and then when you, when you want to have a bit of a longer fire you add a bit more coal so then the coal burns um, slower um, so then you get a slow burn and it's just it makes the room kind of nice and warm. Uh, but there are also other ways you can get a wood stove which you mainly kind of run off wood um, which produces a bit more smoke and you have to keep alive a bit longer. Also we have a hobbit stove which is actually really small compared to the other stoves that you can get that are like a bit bigger um, so we actually can't fit that much wood in our stove so it does make sure um, we go through coal and kindling a little less because it is so small. So probably the coldest part um, of living on a narrowboat is the mornings because when you've been asleep um, you kind of maybe don't stock up the fire as much so then when you wake up it's like freezing cold so my mum usually gets up and does the fire so then when we actually get up then it's nice and toasty warm um, so your feet don't feel like they're about to fall off on the icy cold floor. So to stay warm on a narrowboat, there are a few things that I do recommend. Um, when you're sleeping on your bed, put blankets or duvets under you to keep the heat in and have quite a few layers on and have very snuggly PJs. Um, also have hot water bottles. Hot water bottles definitely helped, especially like, like half an hour before we went to bed, we put them in the bed and covered them with the duvets. So when we came in, the duvets and our bed was snuggly warm. Also I do recommend like thick socks Oh my gosh, these the thick socks are so good. Literally, they keep your feet so warm. And especially when you're in bed and like it's a bit cold and you don't want to take your socks off. These these socks, oh my gosh, definitely recommend you get fluffy socks. They are amazing. Um, um, but definitely you have blankets, extra layers, um, slippers, all that kind of stuff to keep you warm 
when you're sleeping um so um because we live on the boat like full time i get loads of questions about how many cold bags i go through a week um generally because now it's got a bit colder and we are on the boat full time we tend we tend to go through um two bag two cold bags a week um but when it's not as cold but still a little cold we sometimes go through one bag a week um and the bags we're using is 25 kilogram bags and every time we go near a marina or a boatyard my mum stocks up on those things and now we just have a mountain of coal on our boat so overall um the boat can technically either be really hot or a little chilly um but if it's a little chilly you just stock up the fire curl up on your bed and go to sleep um but definitely it's not crazy cold on the boat it's not as cold as people would actually think um the fire will definitely keep you warm and definitely make you feel like a kettle because it is just like boiling hot um but it's better than being like freezing cold i think um generally in winter the boat is a pretty cozy warm um in the winter um because the, you have the fire on and you blanket so in winter it definitely is nice and cozy warm with the fire and the only cold times um on the boat is probably in the mornings when you first wake up and the fire is kind of dead um and in the summer you're living in a tin can so um i definitely prefer maybe winter on the boat um with the fire because you can stay warm and if you're a little too hot um you can let the fire die down or you can get rid of some layers but in summer you can do nothing literally nothing the last this summer like last last year summer um it was so hot you're basically living in a tin can because it was so hot it was just like oh my gosh crazy hot so i definitely prefer winter on the boat because it is way less hot and um the only thing that's like a bit like um annoying about winter is that the the sun goes down faster and it's a little bit more chilly and you can't sit out on your deck as much but definitely with temperature wise winter rules it all um but yeah i hope you like this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i do a video and comment down below what you would like to see next and yeah see you later bye <laughs>